welcome to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is Cassandra and today I'm showing you guys two really easy Aldi crock pot meals everything you're gonna see in this video all like the ingredients wise I got from Aldi or Aldi does sell everything with the pandemic sometimes it's hard to find things at certain stores but everything in this video Aldi does sell I want to just make that clear even though I did get some of the ingredients from like Walmart you can get them at Aldi both of these meals are five ingredients or less four hours in the crock pot really easy and the cool thing about these meals is they also have different variations you can make the same meal but with different um, sides you guys will see what I'm talking about like different faces and it'll feel like you're eating a completely different meal and that's what I love about both of them I'm showing you guys a really easy tip like steak dinner in your crock pot I'm also showing you guys a shredded chicken and gravy and it's just gonna be really easy like go-to staples both of these meals are perfect for fall and winter they're really hearty and just like really good like stewy meals if that makes sense but i'm gonna hop into the video show you guys how i make every meal i'm gonna show you guys all the ingredients needed and i hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below if you do uh that makes you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on all of my food related content because i make a heck of a lot of that i'll link my other aldi videos down below like my grocery hauls my meal prep all of that stuff i'll link that down below if you're interested but break up the crock pot and come along and cook with me so i'm just gonna throw in a whole pack of this stew meat this is i'm gonna throw in some of this stew meat this is still like half frozen a whole onion one can of mushrooms, you could do two, you could do none, just depending on what you like. Um, some water to make, that I'm gonna use to make my beef gravy later. But then I'm just going to dump in some of this steak seasoning and I'm also gonna dump in a little bit of beef broth paste. Um, this isn't from Aldi, but they do sell it. This is from Walmart, full transparency. Um, but Aldi does sell this as well. Um, we're gonna eat these over probably potatoes, but you could also do um, Noodles you could eat it over rice and it's just gonna be like tips and gravy over whatever you want But I think we're gonna do mashed potatoes tonight um, But you could definitely do a bag of noodles or a bag of rice if you wanted to cut it down like even cheaper You definitely could so I'm just gonna throw all this in and show you guys what I'm doing here. I'm gonna dump this can in juice and all. So this bag is 1.57 pounds and I paid $7 for it. I'm also gonna dump in a little bit of this seasoned meat tenderizer. It's basically just like seasoned salt, but it tenderizes the meat. And I've got a little bit of water in this cup that I'm gonna dump in. Now I'm gonna put in a little bit of beef paste in this as well. And it's 11.30, so I'm gonna turn this on low for six hours, and then once it gets closer to dinner time, if it's not quite done yet, I'll crank it up to high and finish it that way. Nobody loves me better. So this meal is the easiest one by far. All you're gonna need is some chicken of choice. You can do a whole chicken and roast a whole chicken. You can do chicken legs, chicken breast, kind of whatever you want. I'm using chicken breast this time. You're gonna want some meat tenderizer. This is seasoned meat tenderizer. It's just like seasoned salt, but it makes the meat fall apart really nicely. And I'm putting some pepper in mine. And you're gonna need some sort of chicken base or chicken gravy. You can make yours from scratch. I have um, leftover chicken broth here. I make mine from scratch. I just boil down a whole chicken, like the bones and stuff with carrots, celery, onions. Boil that down and then I freeze the stock. And I'm just gonna add flour to this and make my own chicken gravy. But I also, I've also used packets like this from either Aldi. This one's from Walmart, but Aldi sells them too this time of year and I always stock up on them. Um, you could definitely just make one or two packets of like chicken gravy. 
um, and pour it on top for these shredded chicken sandwiches and that works really well too um, and these aren't that expensive from Aldi I think they're like 30 cents a package so still really really affordable just a little bit of water just to cover the bottom half of my chicken breast so they don't stick to the bottom I'm gonna turn it on high and put the cover on and come back in a couple hours to show you guys how we're gonna finish off this really easy Aldi crock pot meal so we're back and we'll show you guys how we're gonna finish off this chicken sandwich meal so all I did here was shred my chicken moving on to chicken gravy so I just took some of this chicken broth that I already had in my freezer um, and dumped it right in my pot here it's warming up now if you don't have pre-made chicken stock or you don't have chicken stock um take some of this soup base here any kind bouillon cubes anything um make some of that with water they'll have instructions on how to do so it's really easy and some good old flour what I'm gonna do is I'm heating up my beef bay or my chicken base here. I'm going to slowly add in a little bit of flour till it gets to a thicker consistency like gravy. And then I'm going to add in a little bit more of this chicken base. It just brings the flavor back up because sometimes when you're adding fl um, flour, it can kind of dull the flavor of your chicken base. So I like to add a little bit more just to bring that flavor back up to it. And that's uh, basically how I make any type of gravy at all. I know that I haven't been who I was. If you're a mom and you don't cook with a baby hanging on your feet, are you really a mom though? I'm not big help. Are you my big helper in the kitchen? I'm mom. Are you my big helper in the kitchen? Chicken gravy is done. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's definitely thick. It's delicious. I'm just going to pour. S I'm just going to pour some of this in here and save the rest because I definitely feel like I made a little bit too much. <laughs> this would definitely be awesome over mashed potatoes as well. Cauliflower rice, mashed, <laughs> mashed cauliflower. <laughs> if you're doing more low carb, I'm gonna eat this on buns. The kids like theirs on crescent rolls. I also made some baked beans to go with it. And because I'm eating mine on buns, I kind of wanted french fries, so I have french fries going in my air fryer right now. Gotcha. And here's this meal. Sorry, my dogs are going crazy. Lady, enough! Here's this meal, the chicken sandwiches on buns. I'm eating mine with fries. The kids are eating their rolls and french fries and some baked beans, but that's how we're topping off this meal. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. And I'm wearing dad's top for walk. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram. Hey. It's at Cassie and Crew. Colt is down here saying, hey, what's up? Uh, but if you guys do try out any of these recipes, go ahead hey. and tag me in them on your Instagram and your Instagram stories and your Instagram hey. posts. I'd love hey. to see those meals from you guys, your different variations. Did you use noodles? Hey. <laughs> noodles, rice, uh, potatoes did you make your potatoes homemade did you make them out of a bag or out of a box we're all guilty of that let me know down below what meal you're most excited to try and of course i'll see you guys in the next video bye colt has things to say today do you have things to say today do you have things to say today <laughs>